66 million years ago, an asteroid the size of San Francisco crashed into a shallow sea off the coast of modern-day Mexico and plunged the world into an extinction event that killed off as much as 75% of life, including the dinosaurs. A wide range of terrestrial species perished, the best known being the non-avian dinosaurs, along with many mammals, birds, lizards, plants, and all the pedosaurs. In the oceans, catastrophe killed off plesiosaurs and mosasaurs and devastated teleost fish, sharks, mollusks, and many species of plankton. An estimated 75% or more of all species on Earth vanished. Among the many fallen, the most iconic were by far the non-avian dinosaurs, who up until that point had ruled the lands for roughly 170 million years. Despite their dominance on land, in the sky, and in the ocean, their enormous size suddenly vanished on Earth. This event was known as the KT extinction. What caused this catastrophic event is still open to scientific debate, because how quickly and abruptly the dinosaurs went extinct, many people have dubbed the day of impact the day the dinosaurs died. Such names even appear in documentaries. However, did the dinosaurs truly end their existence on the same day? In the late Cretaceous, they were present on all continents and were quite diverse. Scientists estimate that more than 1,000 species were alive when the asteroid landed. Many of those dinosaurs were armored, others giant, and some were even below the weight threshold, so it seems a bit hard to believe that they just vanished in an instant. For the most part, paleontologists think that the demise of non-avian dinosaurs was not instantaneous. However, studies still support the idea that the majority of dinosaurs did, in fact, perish within the first 24 hours due to the multiple widespread effects of the asteroid. Extreme heat, forest fires, blast waves, earthquakes, and tsunamis were all very real threats, especially for those in the Western Hemisphere, with many as far away as 1,500 miles or 2,400 kilometers dying within minutes. Some dinosaurs were shielded from these immediate effects, but even they could not escape the massive amounts of superhot material thrown into the atmosphere and space. They ejected possibly as much as 25 trillion tons of material. For a while, this material was several times hotter than even the surface of the sun. When much of it came raining back down, it heated the atmosphere to oven-like temperatures, cooking anything out in the open from the inside out and starting fires in roughly 70% of all forests on Earth. This alone left only a few animals standing, but in certain areas that were more protected like marshes, dense humid forests, and high latitudes, pockets of dinosaurs may have survived. These dinosaurs were likely not the big ones, but rather small species and maybe juveniles. Things, however, were not over for them. All the fires and ejected material led to untold amounts of dust, soot, and particles coating the skies and blocking out the sun. This led to sharp decreases in global temperature, where the average may have dropped as much as 36 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. On top of this, the blocking of the sun led to perpetual darkness which brought its own unpleasant issues. People believe that this apocalyptic winter marked the end for the non-avian dinosaurs. No one really knows how long it took for this period to kill the survivors, or if some even survived this fallout yet were impacted enough to where they couldn't ever recover. A good chunk of research suggests that survivors may have hung on for weeks, months, or possibly years. Carnivores survived longest because there were plenty of carcasses to scavenge, while herbivores were doomed from the start because most of their food was burned in the forest fires. Some herbivores may have found preserved pockets of vegetation, but that didn't last long either. Once the herbivores died out, the carnivores soon followed. One recent study suggests that all non-avian dinosaurs were extinct within 15 years after the asteroid impact. This study proposed that all the dust and material in the air would have sustained a 15-year nightmare where temperatures were low and photosynthesis was almost entirely blocked, with it being completely halted for at least one year. During this period, the non-avian dinosaurs, already in decline, gradually
eventually perish due to freezing or starvation. Other studies have painted similar time spans, typically all within 100 years. However, there are longer estimates that suggest the end was not quick, but rather stretched over millennia, with small populations surviving well into the early Paleocene. Some research even suggests that certain unknown species may have endured for thousands or even tens of thousands of years, as evidenced by fossils dated to the Paleocene epoch in areas like San Juan Basin. These discoveries, though controversial, have sparked debates about how some dinosaurs may have adopted or survived longer than previously thought. Regardless of the time frame, the asteroid's impact reshaped life on Earth, paving the way for mammals and other species to rise. Dinosaurs, while no longer the rulers of the Earth, continue to captivate the imagination of scientists and enthusiasts alike. If you enjoyed this video, kindly give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.